All right, so I'm gonna pull a couple of uh, oracles here. Let me pull a couple of oracles. Let's see, should I use this one? Um, I'm sorry, let me see. Let's go here. Pull a couple of these. Energy from the universe. Give me a couple oracles here. Or my wheels. Yeah, so that kind of came out in reverse. Oof. I usually don't read oracles in reverse. Like, this is not a reverse deck. It's not a reverse deck, but... Um, oh, okay, I have my deck upside down. Anyway, so, yeah, so, yeah, I do see something still good in store for you, Leo, so, um, you know, this is, this is still kind of showing that, you know, partnership and alliances here, partnership and alliances, that number three represents, like, letting go of, like, toxic shit like learning to let go of what you know that's not good for you um and basically putting your energy towards you know the partnership towards balance that blue and that red represents masculine and feminine uh not necessarily male and female because that's two different things male and female and versus masculine and feminine uh you know masculine and feminine okay uh because you could be a male and still have feminine you know, characteristics, and you could be female and still have masculine uh, characteristics, okay? So that's, you know, just to let you guys know that this just means balance. Masculine and feminine just means balance, okay? Regardless of the sex of the person. So some type of balance is coming in, but you know what you got to do, Leo, for that to come in. Um, and then we got fulfillment and wishes, okay? So even if you're not uh, feeling like your wishes are coming true or you're if you're not feeling fulfilled at this time um, You know, it's definitely coming Okay, it's definitely coming. Um, you just you know what you have to do You know in order for for that to come, you know from from letting you know the possible outcome there Okay, um, that green here the green represents like um, Rebirthing um, but it also represents, it represents growth, okay? So this connection could have also meant that, you know, um, this could have just been a learning lesson, like I said in the beginning, or some type of growth, like an uh, experience that you needed to have in order to just grow, okay? But that's also letting you know to ground yourself. That's like grounding uh, energy as well, okay? Because I know this connection probably could have been pretty tough, or pretty just annoyed the fuck out of you and probably could have been very frustrating, okay? I'm sure I know that feeling to know that you are connected energetically or, you know, in a 5D world and then not to have connected in reality, that could be really tough. So, just taking that as a growing uh, time for you right now, okay? And just moving forward, I think I'm going to just choose these here. These cards are big. <laughs> I think I'm gonna just choose. Oh, well, it popped out. Hot, heart chakra. Okay, green once again. Okay, so yes, it's definitely a growing time. It's a time. The fact that it's two green cards here. This is letting you know to definitely stay grounded. Um, you know, uh, this is definitely a growth, uh, a time for growth, a learning period. You know, like you're you're a student right now. Um, you know, your heart chakra could be a little imbalanced. So this is kind of letting you know to. Um, because Leo's, I know that you guys have a big heart, so this is kind of just letting you know to, um, you know, make sure you're keeping those boundaries up, okay, and basically using your heart and putting your energy towards, towards where it's supposed to be, which is where you're going to get that balance at, okay, that's where you put it at, don't put it at the connection where you're not getting it back. And always remember to show compassion. Regardless of what actions you take, what decisions you make, make sure you're showing compassion there. 
uh, but also keeping your boundaries of control okay so that goes along with um, grounding okay so basically controlling your emotions controlling your mind your thoughts um, you know uh, wherever your energy goes that's where it, what what manifests you know and it, and it starts from like your brain there um, the eight represents like money as well like the eight represents money Leo's so I definitely see some growth as far as like your money there uh, because I see you guys definitely turning your energy towards that um, black represents you stepping into your independence so yeah I think y'all just saying fuck it and moving forward going into your independent status and I definitely see you coming into your independence and definitely getting your power back uh, that black represents power as well okay so that's what I kind of see, um, you know, when you're able to control your thoughts and your emotions and things like that, that makes you a real, a real powerful po uh, person, Leo. All right. So I'm going to leave it there. All right. So if the, if it did resonate, Leos, make sure you um, leave a comment, like, subscribe, hit that bell button. Um, and I'll see you guys in a week. All right. All love coming from my way. And I see you guys on the next one. Peace.